The NRF24L01 wireless transceiver modules are quite famous among the RC planes and RC car builders. In my last video, I designed a low-cost multi-channel transmitter and receiver for the RC plane using Arduino and a pair of NRF24L01 transceiver modules. These NRF24L01 transceiver modules when in line of sight gives you about 1 km range. The wireless transmitter and receiver I designed in my previous video can be used for controlling the up-down, left-right and brushless DC motor speed controlling. This video is sponsored by Will PCB. Will PCB is one of the top PCBs manufacturing companies. They offer great quality and service. You can test their PCB quality only at $5 for 5 PCBs. You can ask for the price details by simply clicking on the PCB online code. Enter your PCB specifications and click price. Once you are satisfied with your pricing, then you can upload your Gerber files. A link to the Will PCB official website is given in the description. The purpose of making this tutorial is to explain the most basic things which I didn't explain in my previous video. In this episode we will cover number 1. The NRF24L01 transceiver module technical specifications. Number 2. The NRF24L01 pinout. Number 3. It's interfacing with Arduino. And number 4. Some basic examples to explain how data can be wirelessly sent from the transmitter to the receiver side and I will also explain how the NRF24L01 transceiver module can be used for sensor monitoring. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the 2.4 GHz NRF24L01 transceiver modules. These transceiver modules operates in the 2.4 GHz band and has many new features including extra pipelines, buffers and an auto retransmit feature. This board features a reverse polarized SMA connector for maximum RF range and there is the PA and LNA circuit on board with an external antenna it can reach long distance than the one without these parts. This module comes with a 2.4G antenna with 250 kbps transmission rate on open air it can reach the 800 to 1 kilometers communication distance. Recommended voltage is 3.3 to 3.6 volts. Peak emission mode current is 115 milliamps. Peak reverse mode current is 45 milliamps. For other features and specifications, consider reading my article available on my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The NRF24L01 transceiver module has a total of 8 pins. Pin number 1 is the ground. Pin number 2 is the VCC or 3.3 volt pin. Pin number 3 is the CE. Pin number 4 is the CSN. Pin number 5 is the SCK. Pin number 6 is the MOSI. Pin number 7 is the MISO and pin number 8 is the IRQ. Detailed explanation of each pin is available in the article. This is the most basic circuit diagram that we are going to start with. We will be using the same connections on the transmitter side and on the receiver side. The VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 transceiver module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. A decoupling capacitor of 10 microfarad is connected between the power supply pins to keep the voltage stable. For the best performance, you can use a dedicated 3.3 volt power supply. The CE pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. The CSN pin is connected with pin number 10. SCK is connected with pin number 13. 
MOSI is connected with pin number 11 and finally the MIS open of the NRF 24L01 is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12. After completing the soldering my transmitter and receiver circuits were ready. These are the same circuits which I used for controlling the RC plane. This is the receiver side circuit and this is the transmitter side circuit. On the transmitter side for now forget about these potential meters and the push button. The NRF 24L01 Hello World example project depends on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side which sends the Hello World message while the other program is written for the receiver side which receives the Hello World message. So first let's start with the transmitter side programming. As usual, I started off by adding the libraries which can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I defined pins for the CE and CSN. This is a unique pipe address. This should be same on the transmitter and receiver side. I defined an array of the type character which is used to store the message. In my case, I want to send the Hello World Electronic Clinic message. Inside the white set of function, I activated the serial communication and selected 9600 as the baud rate and finally activated the radio communication. Inside the white loop function, we have only one instruction which is used to send the message. Now let's have a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side programming, the maximum things remains the same. I'm using the same libraries, same pins. This time I defined an area of the type character which can store 50 characters. You can increase or decrease this number as per your requirement. The white set of function consists of almost the same instructions. Inside the while loop function, if the NRF 24L01 module has received the data, then simply print it on the serial monitor and if the communication has lost then print the message no radio available. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this in action. While the NRF 24L01 transceiver module is connected with the laptop through a USB cable, open the serial monitor. You can see no radio available as the transmitter is not powered up. Now if I go ahead and power up the transmitter side, the receiver will start receiving the data. Now let's take a look at the second example, NRF 24L01 and Arduino based sensor monitoring. This time I have modified the circuit diagram. A push button is connected between the ground and pin number 2 of the Arduino. The left and right legs of all the three potentiometers are connected with the Arduino's 5 folds and ground. While the metal legs are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0, A1 and A2. For the demonstration purposes I will be using these potentiometers as a sensor. So that's all about the transmitter circuit diagram. The connections on the receiver side will remain the same. The NRF 24L01 and Arduino based sensor monitoring system also depends on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side which sends the sensor values while the other program is written for the receiver side which receives the sensor values and then print them on the serial monitor. So first let's start with the transmitter side programming. This time I made a few changes. I defined pins for the potentiometers and a push button. Defined an array data of the type byte. Inside the white set of function I set the potentiometers and the push button as the input. Inside the white loop function we simply read the potentiometers and store the mapped values in the array at different locations. These two conditions are used if the push button is pressed or not. If the push button is pressed then a value of 1 is stored in the array at location 3 and if the push button is not pressed then a value of 0 is stored. 
Now let's have a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side, I defined some variables to keep track of time when the communication is lost. The receiver programming is almost the same. Inside the while loop function, we simply print the received data on the serial monitor. If the communication is lost for one second, then a message connection lost will be printed on the serial monitor. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this in action. As the communication is too fast, it's hard to see any values. Let's use a delay of half second. Upload the program. Again, open the serial monitor. For more examples, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.